In this video, we'll go over how to use the perspective mode mount to change modes. First, install the mount onto your trolling motor, either port or starboard side, depending on which side your motor is installed and if the prop stows in or out. Wrongful installation can lead to damage to the transducer or boat. Next, adjust the position of the transducer to the desired viewing mode. Use the indicator strip on the short side of the extension arm and match it up with the view you want to see. To get live scope down or live scope forward views, swing the extension arm to the side so it's perpendicular to the shaft of the motor. Be sure to align the single indicator ridge on the extension arm with the center mark on the shaft bracket. Use live scope down to see everything below your boat and live scope forward to see all around it. To get the perspective mode, swing the arm down and parallel to the shaft so the double indicator ridges on the extension arm align with the center mark on the bracket. With auto adjustment, switching modes can take up to one minute. As a reminder, you should rotate the transducer to match up with the view you want to see. Use perspective view to see even more in shallow water. Finally, be sure your software versions are updated to GPS map 18.1 and Echo Map 11.2 or later. And note, the software default is set to auto, so your chart plotter should automatically show the selected mode. To learn more about Panoptic's LiveScope Perspective Mode Mount, go to Garmin.com.